we've got a studio full of really smart kids. Nosy the know-it-all dog is around here somewhere. I'm Father Reed, and this is... <laughs> the Catholic TV Challenge. where the kids are the teachers. So I want you to have the chance to meet our very first set of contestants. Mr. Nelson, could you introduce them to us, please? All right, Father Reed, let's begin the show with a great group of contestants. Our first contestant for this round is Brian Dutile. Brian's favorite subject in school is math and sports. He loves playing soccer. He also enjoys playing the saxophone. And his favorite TV show to watch is the Looney Tunes show. And our second contestant is Gianna Sade. Gianna loves playing the piano. Her favorite sport in soccer. In school, her favorite subject is math. And on TV, she enjoys watching the Ever After Heist show. And our third contestant for this round is Malachi Monroe. Malachi's favorite subject in school is science, and one of his favorite shows on TV is Peg and Cat. And those are our three contestants for this round of WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge! All right! Malachi, science, too. Favorite subject. We have something in common. Great to have you with us. Gianna, you look marvelous right there in the middle, all decked out in green. Brian, I was kind of thinking this was Looney Tunes here in the WOW studio. It's kind of loony here, don't you think? Mm, a little bit. But anyway, let's move on to something more important, and that is the game. First, the rules. Want to keep your hands by your side? All right, I get to ask the questions. You get to answer them. But let me finish the entire question before you hit the red button. If you do, in fact, think you know the answer. If you don't, or if you get it wrong, no big deal. We'll just move on. Do those rules make sense to the three of you? Yes. Fantastic. Now, what we need here today, brothers and sisters, we need a what about. That's the theme of the show. That's the thing that we're going to be talking about. And I can't think of a better person to fill us in on the what about than that know it all dog, Nosy. Nosy, what is today's what about, hmm? Hello, Father Reed. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Nosy. I am the know it all dog. And I happen to know what today's what about is. Are you ready? Today's what about is Christian prayer. Christian prayer. Have fun and good luck. Well, that's easy for him to say. Have fun and good luck. But I hope you do have fun, and I wish you good luck. Studio audience, are you ready for all this? Brian, Gianna, Malachi, are you ready? Well then, let's set the wah watch. And I have for the three of you the first question. Remember to leave your hands by your side. Listen to the whole question. What's the special prayer that we pray to the Mother of God? Brian? The Hail Mary. That's correct! <laughs> In Latin, salve, hail, hello. The greeting of the angel Gabriel. To Mary. All right. Here's another question for the three of you. Listen closely. What is the greatest and most powerful prayer we know as Catholics? Malachi? The Mass. That's correct! <laughs> the Mass, which comes from the Latin Misa, which means sent, because at the end of Mass, we're sent forth to live the gospel that we have heard and to be like. Jesus, whom we have received. Now, here's a question for the three of you. When we pray for perseverance, what are we praying for? Gianna? Perseverance. Uh... Perseverance? Ooh, not to give up. It was right on the tip of your tongue. Oh, oh that's all right. No problem. Like I said, we got plenty of questions, and we're just going to move on. Never give up. Persevere. All right. 
Here's a question for the three of you. Brian, Gianna, Malachi. January 1st is a special day of prayer for what? Gianna. That's correct. We need that. We need peace around the world. We need peace in our city streets, in our homes, and in our hearts. Now, a great saint, Augustine, said, when we sing well, we pray how many times? Brian? Twice. Twice, that's right. The operative word there, though, is when we sing well, we pray twice. So says St. Augustine. <clears throat> now, in whose name do we always pray? Brian? Um, Jesus Christ. That's correct. <laughs> you said that with a question mark on the end, but you were absolutely right. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. But to whom do we direct our prayer? Brian. Um, the Holy Spirit. Ooh. God. We were looking for God the Father, because all the prayers, if you notice at Mass, usually begin with God our Father, or Almighty Father. No problem. Plenty more questions where that one came from. Complete this sentence. No one can say that Jesus is Lord except by... Brian. The Holy Spirit. That's correct. <laughs> It is the Holy Spirit that empowers us and inspires us to pray and to live as Jesus taught. Oh, we are out of time. I can't believe time flies so quickly. But we have a winner, and we're going to have for you a very special WOW t-shirt. Going to give that to you right after the commercial break. Brian, congratulations. And Gianna and Malachi, you've been our wonderful first set of contestants. We're going to take a little break and come right back after these messages. Nice job. That went by fast, huh? You have just seen our first group of contestants, and here's your first round winner. Coming up, our next three contestants will vie for the second spot in the final challenge when WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge continues. Catholic TV Challenge. I'm Father Reed. So glad you stayed with us because we have a new set of contestants, three of them to be exact. Mr. Nelson, could you tell us who they are, please? It is time to meet our next group of contestants, Father Reed. Our first contestant for this round is Matthew Morin. <laughs> Matthew enjoys math in school for sports. He loves playing soccer. And in the fall and winter, you can find him watching NFL games on TV. Are you ready for some football? Our second contestant is John Rossi. Jack's favorite subject in school is math. For sports, he likes to play hockey and also loves football. And our third contestant for this round is Catherine Bishop. <laughs> Catherine loves to read. For sports, she loves gymnastics and enjoys swimming on TV. One of her favorite shows is Kicking It. And those are our three contestants for this round of WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge. Kicking It, eh? <laughs> I think I've seen that once or twice. Is that on the Disney Channel? Disney SD. Yeah, okay. And what happened to the Bruins? The Boston Bruins? They lost. That's the way it goes. But anyway, it was a great fight. Matthew, the NFL. You are representing today the NFL on WOW. I want you to know that. And also, you're representing a very wonderful school, the School of St. Bridget, and you're doing a great job at that here on WOW, the Catholic TV Challenge. As you know, our What About Today is Christian Prayer. And I just want to remind you three of the rules. You want to keep your hands by your side, please? I get to ask the questions. You get to answer them. Let me finish the whole question, though, all right? Matthew, Jack, Catherine, and if you know the answer, just hit the red button in front of you, and we'll see how you do. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, so I can see the three of you are ready. Studio audience, are you ready? That's the question. Yeah. Well, since that is the case, and I hope you're ready out there in TV land, let's set the wow watch. And I have the very first question for the three of you, hands by your side. Listen to the whole question. Which person of the Holy Trinity teaches us to pray? Matthew? That's correct! <laughs> All right. Now, Mary, the mother of Jesus, is also the mother of whom? Matthew? The church. The church is right! <laughs> 
good. Sometimes we say, <laughs> Mary, mother of the church, pray for us. In fact, when Jesus was hanging on the cross, he gave Mary, his mother, to his good friend, his disciple John. And in doing that, he gave her to us as our mother. All right. The simplest prayer of all is just to repeat the name of whom? Matthew? Jesus. That's correct. <laughs> Good. Our, what about today, of course, is Christian prayer. So all these questions and these wonderful answers all revolve around that very wonderful topic. Today's what about. Now, what do we call it when we ask for the help of Mary and the saints? What do we call that? Asking for help when we pray. Oh, intercession. Intercession. We ask Mary and the saints to intercede for us, to kind of like be a go-between, to take our prayers and our needs and bring them to God. All right. No problem. Plenty more questions where that one came from. What prayer contains these words? Pray for us sinners. Jack. Hail Mary. That's correct. <laughs> Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Now, a doxology is addressed to what three persons? Matthew? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's correct. <laughs> For example, the glory be, that we say, glory be to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit is an example of a doxology. Now, this is a very, very important question, very important distinction. Catherine, Jack, Matthew, do we pray to Mary and the saints? Catherine? No, we that no. We pray with them and they pray for us. Exactly. Very good. <laughs> They're always praying for us. They want to pray for us. They're our friends. And so we pray with them, as you correctly say. Now, here's one for you. What's the prayer where we repeat the Hail Mary 50 times? Matthew? The rosary. The rosary is right. <laughs> one of the most beloved programs here on the Catholic TV network, I might add. Now, here's a question for you. Jack, Matthew, Catherine, listen very carefully. What do we call the scenes from the life of Jesus and Mary that we meditate on during the rosary? Matthew? The mysteries. The mysteries is right. <laughs> the mysteries of the Holy Rosary. Speak. We are out of time. Time flies when you're having fun. I want to thank you, Catherine, Jack, and Matthew, for being such a great group of contestants. But I do have this official, wow, T-shirt for the gentleman right here. Matthew, very good. Congratulations. It looks good. Goes great with your blue shirt. We're going to take a quick break. And uh, we hope you stay with us because we have three more contestants yet to come. Don't go away. We have our second contestant for the final round, and we have three more contestants ready to play for the final spot in the final challenge. Stay with us as WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge continues in just a moment. Welcome back to the third round here on WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge. Today's What About is, as you probably know, Christian Prayer. And we have three new contestants for you to meet. Mr. Nelson, could you introduce them to us, please? Father Reed, it looks like we have another excellent group of contestants. Our first contestant for this round is Michael Amigi. <laughs> Mikey loves math and working with computers. His favorite sport to play is baseball. And on television, his favorite show is Legends of Chima. And our second contestant for this round is Laurel Lacasse. <laughs> Laurel's favorite subject in school is science. For sports, her favorite is basketball. She also plays the flute, and when she has time, she enjoys watching the Cartoon Network. And our third contestant is Connor Gracie. Connor loves playing soccer in school. His favorite subject is math. On TV, he loves watching The Legends of Chima, and he also plays the drums. And those are our three contestants for this round of WOW! The Catholic TV Challenge. So you must be good at basketball. <clears throat> are you? Yeah, kind yes. of. Good, good for you. And these two guys, among other things, are good at math. And math is very important here at WOW because we like to add up the scores. All right? That's how it works. But the rules before we get there are very simple. You want to keep your hands by your side. Please, Mikey, Laurel, Connor. And then let me ask the question because that's my little job. And if you think you know the answer, hit the red button in front of you. 
and we'll go from there. Make sense? Fantastic. If you guys are ready, studio audience, are you ready? Yeah! Well then, without further ado, we're going to set the wow watch. And I have for the three of you the first question. As a priest, I pray the Liturgy of the Hours. And what book in the Bible is the basis for that? Laurel? The Book of Palms. That's correct! <laughs> the Psalms. In fact, every morning this morning, I prayed six different Psalms, all from the Book of Psalms, attributed to King David, who's often pictured with a harp, because they were songs, the Psalms. Now, for the three of you, here I have a very interesting question. When we speak about the mystery of the, of the rosary, which have to do with the coming of Jesus among us? Laurel? The joyful mystery. That's correct! <laughs> the joyful mysteries. For example, the mystery of the nativity, the birth of Jesus, being one of those. Pretty joyful, if you ask me. Now, back to the mysteries of the rosary. Which have to do with Jesus' suffering and death? Connor? The sorrowful mystery. That's correct! <laughs> For example, oh, everybody's laughing around here. For example, the crowning of Jesus with thorns. That would be one of the sorrowful mysteries. All right, so let's stick with the mysteries of the rosary, if, if you wouldn't mind, just for a moment. Which are the ones that surround Jesus' resurrection and new life? The glorious mysteries. The glorious mysteries is right. For example, the ascension of Jesus into heaven be one of the glorious mysteries. And of course, our what about today is Christian prayer. And we're speaking a little bit about the mysteries of the rosary. Mikey, Laurel, Connor, which are the newest mysteries introduced by St. John Paul II? Laurel? The luminous mystery. Correct. <laughs> the luminous mysteries. One of those, of course, being the wedding feast at Cana, just as an example. Okay. Here's a question for you. In the Our Father, we say the words, Thy will be done. Whose will? Mikey? God's will. That's correct. Wow. The man in the red. He is tuned into God's plan, his will. Now, what do we call the rhythmic singing of words? Mikey? Chant. That's correct. Wow. For example, at Mass, through him and with him and in him. That'd be an example of chant. Um, what's the style of chant that was developed under Pope St. Gregory? Connor? The Gregorious chant. Could you say that one more time? The Gregorious chant. Our judges are saying, that's correct! <laughs> Gregorian chant from Pope St. Gregory. We are out of time, however. You guys were absolutely fantastic. But it's very clear that Laurel not only is great at basketball, but also at WOW. And we have for you the official WOW t-shirt. Very good. Well, we're going to take a quick break. And I hope you don't go away because the best part is yet to come. The, uh, the super challenge right here on WOW. So stay with us. The group for the final challenge has been decided. We have our three contestants. Which one of these three will be today's Catholic TV Challenge winner? Find out in just a minute. challenge we have our three contestants who won the first three rounds no need to introduce them Brian Laurel and Matthew welcome back and I don't think there's any need to go over the rules either is there no I do want to remind you that our what about today is Christian prayer and so without further ado we're gonna set the wall watch and see how you do hands by your side listen to the whole question what's the type of prayer call when we close our eyes and we think of nothing but God Brian? Um, um, it's... Ooh, meditation. Meditation, meditation. You know what? 
You're probably sick of me asking questions. Probably, huh? Why don't we turn to that knows it all, no, knows it all, know it all dog, Nosy, to see if he has for us a super challenge. Hey, Nosy, do you have one for us? Okay, Father Reed. Okay, boys and girls, here's a super challenge. What is the prayer that Jesus taught us? Our Father. That's correct. <laughs> Good, very good. Okay, here's one from me. What's that special prayer called with a list of petitions and a response that repeats? A litany. That's correct. <laughs> now, this is a prayer that I, as a priest, offer pretty consistently. The sacrament, really, the, the church prays for someone who is sick or dying. Right? The anointing of sin. That's correct. <laughs> very good. Very good. Let's turn back to that know-it-all dog, Nosy. Nosy, you get another super challenge for these three friends of mine? Hmm? Okay, Father Reed. Okay, boys and girls. Here's a super challenge. How often did St. Paul instruct us to pray? Hmm? Matthew? Constantly. That's correct. <laughs> Pray constantly, without ceasing. Here's one for you. What's very important to personal private prayer? Brian? It was what we just had in those few seconds, quiet. Absolute silence. Always helpful. Let's go back to Nosy one more time for a super challenge. Nosy, lay it on us, would you please? Okay, Father Reed. Okay, boys and girls. Here is another super challenge. What is a prayer we say at the dining room table? Hmm? Matthew? Grace before me. That's correct. <laughs> very, very, very close. I have another one for the three of you. Laurel, Brian, Matthew. What is so special about praying in a Catholic church building? Brian? Um, it's, um... The presence of Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament, in the tabernacle. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, here's another one for you. A special prayer given by a priest, which includes the sign of the cross. Brian? Um, it's um, a... a... Blessing. A blessing. One more. Let's go back to that know-it-all dog, Nosy. Nosy, give us another super challenge, would you? Okay, Father Reed. Okay, boys and girls. Here is yet another super challenge. What is the prayer that is said at different hours of the day by priests and religious? Hmm? Matthew? Liturgy of the hours. That's correct! The Liturgy of the hours! Very good, very good. Now here... Oh, we are out of time. This was such a close round, but I have to say... A warm and hearty congratulations to Matthew, today's winner of the final challenge. Mr. Nelson, how about some happy streaming for today's television champion? Father Ree, the winner of Wow! The Catholic TV Challenge receives a new Roku streaming player. Find your favorite on-demand movies and TV shows by gliding through screens, flying through channels, and finding what you want to watch instantly. The Roku interface never stands between you and your entertainment. Before you know it, you'll be off in streaming Wonderland. Say goodbye to the couch huddle. Get all the photos, songs, and videos you keep on your phone instantly on your TV with a free Roku app for iOS and Android. And best of all, watch WOW and Catholic TV live and on-demand with Roku. And as Mr. Nelson said, best of all, you can watch WOW and Catholic TV. You and your family, no longer will you be couch potatoes. Matthew, Laurel, Brian, thank you so much for being our contestants and all of the contestants on today's show. I'm Father Reed. Thanks for joining us. May God bless you always. And we'll see you next time on another edition of WOW, the Catholic TV channel.